Are you bad at Fortnite? Do you always die to players that have worse mechanics than you? Are you a big dumb idiot? Well, today on the Alex channel, I'm going to teach you how to get better game sense and know what you have to prove on next and how to have fun. Better have fun. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, this is improvement guide, three tips. Let's get into it. So tip number one, you have to VOD review. VOD reviewing is so important. There are two types of VOD reviews. VOD reviewing your own game and reviewing pros games. So when you review your own games, you have to look for mistakes. When you find one, ask yourself, why do I do this? What could I have done? What could I have done better? And how could I stop making this mistakes? Boom, easy. Right, just those three questions, you're good. And then when you review a pros game, after every single kill and rotation, ask yourself, why did they do this? What could they have done better? And how could I incorporate this into my gameplay? So yeah, there are more about reviewing just videos out there on YouTube, so you can just search one up. Um, but VOD reviewing is super important. That's why it's tip number one. It's probably the most important tip. So now tip number two, play creative. So I don't mean playing those adventure maps or death runs or whatever, right? Those can be good for getting better movement, but not getting better mechanics and game sense, which I think are better than movement. Aim mechanics, game sense. I think that's just better than movement. And then once you got that down, you should start working on movement. So then I'm getting off topic, but here we go. You should practice and learn the new techniques that you found out during VOD reviews. In order to transfer all the new stuff that you've learned from the VOD reviews that we did pre previously, which was tip number one, you need to follow these steps just to get it to arena. So step number one, learn the new technique in creative step number two train in a creative map just get it down get it in your muscle memory or whatever step number three use it in a casual environment what i mean by casual environment is box fights zone wars or the casual game itself and then step number i believe four finally use it in arena just use it in arena you should have gotten it down by then so if you do those steps, you're preventing yourself becoming a creative warrior, which I think is good. Now, step number, I mean, tip number three, play arena. Play arena really helps just getting your mechanics down and getting your game sense down. So when you play arena, there are two different play styles that will help you improve. First play styles, play aggressive. I recommend landing somewhere like Tilted or Lazy and W King everyone you see. This helps so much with planning smart fights. Just because during a fight, you know what to do. And it helps with mechanics. So if you see someone, if you have good loot, fight them. And then the second play style is play passive. Um, you should land somewhere that has decent loot and one, I guess, like one other team landing there. This can help you build game sense and it will help you take smart fights. And it really helps with rotations. So again, some tips for that. Rotate to dead side. Take fights when you need to and plan out your rotations like right when you can see the new zone, safe zone. So that's all. It was a short video, but I'm hoping it was helpful. Uh, so yeah, again, I do have a cubing channel. So if you want to check that out, it will be in the description. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, um, I'm going to start uploading more. I'm going to start actually trying. So yeah, um, well, thanks for watching. And bye-bye.